Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back. I'm here bringing you out another NBA 2K21 rebuild. And in today's rebuild, as y'all can see, we are doing a three-team trade. It was recommended by one of my subscribers. I'll leave it right here so y'all can see it. And then he wanted me to send Kyle Lowry, um, Andrew Holiday to the Milwaukee Bucks, and then Eric Bledsoe, Brooke Lopez, and JJ Reddick to the Toronto Raptors. And then we end up sending Dante DiVincenzo, George Hill, Ersan Elias over to the Milwaukee Bucks. And he also wanted me to give two first round picks to the He also wanted me to give two first round picks to the Pelicans, so we'll just do that from each team I guess. So we'll just take one from the Bucks and we'll just end up giving it to the Pelicans. And I do have to turn trade over and on for this to work. So we did end up doing that trade for the subscriber that wanted to do it. And if you're new to the channel guys and enjoy the content, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And my Twitter and Twitch link will be down in the description for y'all to see. So for y'all to go and um, like it and follow me. Also, I do got to turn trade over at all because I did have to do trade over. He said I could use any team I wanted to use. So I did end up using the, um, I ended up using the Raptors. We're using the Raptors for this rebuild. The trade over goes off, financial trade goes back on. And the Raptors right now aren't looking too bad with this trade. We got Fred Van Vliet, JJ Redick, OG Ananobi, Siakam, and Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez is a better overall right now than Marcus Gasol. Marcus Gasol has declined a bit. In his days with the um, Memphis Grizzlies, he was a terrific center. And right now he is getting up there in age. He's 35 years old. He has declined a bit. He went from averaging like, he used to average 19 and a half points a game. That was his prime, man. It was fun watching Gasol. He's still a good player, but it was fun watching him pass and dish the ball, post up. It was just fun watching him. But we are rebuilding this team. We are going to try to rebuild him in two seasons. So this roster isn't looking too shabby. And another good thing actually is there was a patch update today for 2K and we actually get to import draft classes now so we can actually draft rookies like LaMelo Ball, James Wiseman. So thank God 2K finally put a patch out for that. It, it's just been sucking using generated rookies. So let's go and see what we can get from Marcus Saw. I do want to make him a power forward to see if his trade value goes up a bit because he is making um he is making quite a bit of money, 25 million. So we potentially could get something good from Marcus Saw because he is on a big deal. So if I throw Marcus Hall in this 2023 first round pick, could we potentially get like some, like Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond would be amazing on this team. I feel like it would help us win. Karis LeVert is also another good player. Karis LeVert is pretty good. I do like Karis LeVert, but I just got in my last video. So we, we will be getting Andre Drummond. I couldn't even talk right there. We do get Andre Drummond and you'll be like, well, we got three bigs now. We can move Spicy P to the small forward position. And honestly, um, Brooke Lopez will be playing actually power forward. I don't know why they didn't want to do that. Brooke Lopez can honestly be the backup too, but I feel like this is a really good lineup right now. And I do want to keep the players that we did trade for. I want to win a championship with them. And I guess we're going to be bringing Eric Blitz off the bench too. So let's go out and try to get, uh, I like Norman Powell, but if we can get a better, like he's a good two way shooting guard, of course, but if we can get someone better fit the team it's a definitely a, a trade you would do like Derek Rose we don't really need he could be the backup shooting guard but other than that Clint Capella we don't need any more bigs it's so easy to get bigs on 2k I don't know why but um what if I do Raleigh, Rondi Hollis Jefferson and just Stanley Johnson just to get some type of value for them like Ronnie Hood's pretty nice but hmm, Ronnie Hood might be the trade we do I saw Enos Cantor let's just go with Ronnie Hood He's a better backup, I think. He could shoot the ball. So pretty much this team is awfully really good already. Like it was really good to start off. And maybe one more trade would be to get a better backup shooting guard. I mean, I'm, I forgot a shooting guard. I meant a better backup small forward. Uh, I forgot we moved Siakam to small forward already. Like, see what I mean? I'm already losing it. So if I do these two, can I get a better power forward? We do need a better power forward. PJ Tucker. I'll probably go with PJ Tucker, bring him back to, um, yeah, let's go with PJ Tucker and bring him back to Toronto where he uh, came after he left the Phoenix Suns, I believe. It was after Phoenix that he came to Toronto. So we are going to be making him, I like how he plays center though in our life. The dude's a monster out there. Like I'm a PJ Tucker fan, of course, because I am a Longhorn fan. So he goes from a 76 to a 78 and even goes to a 79, but we are going to be making PJ Tucker the power forward. So with the first season, it's going to be Fred Van Vliet, JJ Redick, Siakam, Lopez, and Drummond with Eric Bledsoe, Serge Ibaka, Anobi, and PJ Tucker coming off the bench. That's not a bad lineup at all. We should, we're definitely gonna make the playoffs. Well, we did a lot better than I thought we would. We went 57 
and 25. Giannis is your MVP, same rookie as always. Dan Schroeder, six man of the year, defensive player of the year, Giannis. RJ Barrett got most improved, that's pretty new. And Brad Stevens is your coach of the year. Here's your all NBA first teams. Uh, we should honestly have someone on here if we don't. We just were a well rounded team, I suppose, and we don't. Did PJ Tucker make the all defensive team? And he did not. But we did end up getting the second seed. Wow. We got the second seed, but we had 57 wins. The Celtics have one more win than us, and the Clippers did too, so we would have got the second seed in either conference. But if we look at the player stats, I'm pretty sure that Siakam led us in scoring. Siakam had 22 points, 7 rebounds, and almost 2 blocks a game, only 2 assists. Fred Van Vliet had 18 points and 7 assists. Freddie's a monster on 2K, man, and in real life. Dude's a monster, man. Eric Bledsoe had 17 points and 5 assists off the bench. Then it was Drummond with a double-double. Then we had JJ Reddick with 15 points. How do you shoot from 3, man? 40, pretty much 45%. That's amazing for Reddick. And then Serge Ibaka did his thing. Brooke Lopez, trash on the boards. But when you got Drummond, you don't really need him to get the boards. PJ Tucker played defense. He didn't really have to shoot that much. So we are taking on the Miami Heat in the first round where we should get past Miami Heat as they take game one. It's like every time we play a game, man, we always lose the first game. And whoever wins this game got to take on that stack Bucks team. And it is four to us. We do win in six as Pascal Siakam closed it out for Evan Vliet. Lopez had 18 and then Bledsoe. Everyone had a good game, man. Even PJ Tucker, put up. he probably played some good defense, but everyone scored double digit points except Tucker. That's pretty good, man. But this Bucks team is stacked, man. When I say stacked, like if we just look at the box score real quick, they have Giannis, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Kyle Lowry, Wesley Matthews. Like if they wanted to, they could run Giannis at the five, West, uh, Chris Middleton at the four, then they got Wesley at the three, Drew at the two, and then Kyle at the one. You're not gonna score on them, man. That defense is nasty. Let's simulate the round, man. We are up 3-1 on them, and we do, can we get past them, man? And we do end up beating the Milwaukee Bucks in six games, let's go. Take on the Philadelphia 76ers. Come on, man, can we get to the finals in the first year? And no, <laughs> the Sixers just said, they just crushed our dreams and swept us, man. We got one more year to try to win this, man. I do like how the team is built. I might go out and get some free agents. I'm not sure yet, but the Sixers just really crushed our dreams, man, as they do go on to win the NBA Finals. We we did pretty good for the first year, man. Like I like how the team is, but we do need probably another score next to Siakam. Like Fred Van Vliet is cool, but he's not. He's like a third option to me on a team. I do want to go to the NBA draft to see one of those rookies fall to us. Now that we have like actual rookies, I do want to draft in these drafts. So let's just sim to our pick. I could have possibly traded up, but I don't want to jip the system already. So did any prospects fall to us? Not really. Um, I mean, these are B minus overalls, but other than that, uh, it said we scouted Gordon Sims the most. What's his, what's he like? His ceiling is Anthony Davis and his floor is Josh McRoberts. Josh McRoberts was pretty bad. What about him, Thomas Robinson, Dwight Howard? That's, that's pretty good, man. But I guess we'll just go with Gordon Sims. We didn't really need a power forward, but we'll just take Gordon Sims. Let's head to um, rookie signings, and he was a 72, not that good. We are going to bring back Norman Powell and Matt Jones. Qualifying offers, I want to give one to OG. Uh, yeah, those are the ones I want to offer, man, not the other two. And pretty much, man, we're not going to have much cap at all. So we just got to bring back our players, which is a lot. We got to bring back Freddy. We got to bring back OG and even Serge Ibaka. I might trade Serge Ibaka. So let's just get them, and we do get all three of them. We're going to be so much over the dead cap, man. It's crazy. We got to bring back Drummond. Oh, my God. We're going to be so, we're going to be so far over the cap, man. This is crazy. Even Tucker, we gotta bring back Tucker. And yeah, man, we got everybody back. But we're gonna have to trade some of these guys. Cause I guarantee you some of them are gonna fall in overall, so. All right, I don't even think we have any cap. Let's see if we have any cap, man. And we have five million. So who can we get for five million? Reggie Jackson, wouldn't be too bad as a backup. We could get JJ Reddick back. Jeff Green, Enos Cantor. Um, can I get both back? Actually, can I get him? And can I get, um? Reggie Jackson. If we can get both, I feel like that's a W for us. And I gotta get Terrence Davis back. I don't know if I can get Terrence Davis. And let us get both. Cool. So we do get both. Let's see if I can get Terrence Davis back. Um, 
Terrence Davis. I hate how you have to go through all this, man. Terrence Davis isn't even, mm, what is he, a 77? Really at the 79s. Damn, it's gonna be hard to find Terrence Davis. Terrence Davis, I don't even see Terrence Davis. Terrence Davis, could we even offer him a contract? And we came and offer him a contract, so. It is what it is. Let's go to player progression, and then, well, I'll sim like I always do, and you'll see me when I find a trade after this, so if 2K can hurry up, and I just hate how it's so slow, man. But I hope you all enjoying the rebuilds, guys. It's what I like to do. I like to do these rebuilds for y'all. Just let me know down in the comment section. So we do get Terrence Davis back on the qualifying. Good for us. Let me know if y'all want to see mana rebuilds too, or y'all want to see just 2K rebuilds. And let me know what rebuilds y'all want to see, because I'm doing them for y'all, man. And Pascal Siakam did go down one point. Drum Lopez went up one. For Evan Vliet dropped three points. He's only 27 years old. The dude's 27 and dropped three points. That's dumb. Bledsoe dropped two. Um, Serge Ibaka dropped. We'll probably end up training Serge Ibaka. Tucker dropped. Brave dropped. Everybody dropped. Everybody dropped, man. It's kind of sad, but I am going to be simulating. I am going to find a trade, and I'll see y'all when I find the trade, man. We're right here, and we are going to make our first trade, and I am going to be bringing DeMar DeRozan back to Toronto. And I just felt like it would be cool to bring DeMar DeRozan back to Toronto. I could have got um, I could have got uh, Buddy Hill or CJ McCollum, but I ended up wanting to bring DeMar DeRozan back to Toronto. I felt like it would be cool to have him back home in Toronto. So we do get um, DeRozan to uh, help this team. And honestly, I feel like he could start at the shooting guard spot for us. I know Norma Powell brings better defense, but this team really can't shoot either. So it's kind of funny, but I feel like having DeMar... It'll help us out more. And I do want to make one more trade. I want to move Reggie Jackson and possibly... Uh, I like Luka, but if we can get something for him, maybe a better starting power forward or backup, this team should compete, man. It really should. And Mitchell Robinson. I'd be getting Mitchell Robinson a lot. I mean... This will probably be the last time y'all see me get Mitchell Robinson for a long time. I could get Robert Covington, but we have too many power forwards. So yeah, this will be the last time I get Mitchell Robinson. I'm not getting him anymore. So no more Mitchell Robinson. He does go to 87 at power forward. So we got Eric Bledsoe. I'm just going to make DeRozan a shooting guard so he goes up, man. I'm pretty sure he'll go down. But he's still better than Norman Powell. So it's going to be Eric Bledsoe, DeMar DeRozan, Siakam, Robinson, and Drummond. With Lopez, Van Vliet, Anobi, and Chris coming off the bench. I do not like how they give the six man 30 minutes. Like, why do they give the six man 30 minutes for? This could this could be how the rotation is going to look, man. Like this. And then I want Drummond to get 34. Robinson can get... I want him to get 35. Siakam to get 37. DeRozan can get 35. And Bledsoe can get... Bledsoe can get 30. So that's going to be the rotation for season number two. And let's go get a chip, man. So we did end up having pretty much the same record as last year. We lost one more game than we won last year. And here are your awards. Rookie of the Year goes to Anthony Edwards for the Sacramento Kings. Finally, a real rookie. Bobo got six man of the year. And then uh, Anthony Davis is on the Mavericks for Defensive Player of the Year. Lonnie Walker most improved. And Rick Carlisle, Rick Carlisle got Coach of the Year as the Mavericks goes, the Mavericks goes 63 and 19. They can't even talk, man. Here's your All-NBA first. All rookie first, I guess we'll just go backwards because the game wants to uh, go backwards. And uh, all defensive second team, all defensive first, and then all NBA third. I don't think we have anyone. Yeah, we don't have, we never get anyone on these teams. I'm used to it. So we are the second seed again, and the Boston Celtics do end up being the first seed yet again. Let's go look at our season stats. Siakam is always going to lead us in scoring, I feel like. Then it was DeMar DeRozan. It's good to see DeMar Rosen back in Toronto. I'm pretty sure everyone in Toronto loves him and they miss him. And then Fred Van Vliet was next. As I said, he's a good third scorer. And then Drummond averaged 16 and 14. Mitchell Robinson did his thing. Bledsoe, OG Ananobi, and Lopez. So that's pretty much all the stats for y'all want to pause and look. I want to see how far we were behind though in the standings for first again. Oh dang, we were eight games behind this time. Hopefully we don't lose to the Celtics this time. I am trying to win a chip here. As, like I said, we always lose the first game. Why? Like, I'm not even stressing, but why do we lose the first game? And it shouldn't even be going to six games. We are taking on Brooklyn, though. DeMar Rosen dropped 28, 5, and 6. Siakam did his thing, and then Fred Van Vliet had a double-double. 
DeMar DeRozan is, like once he went to San Antonio, his playmaking got a lot better. Like his playmaking was underrated. And once he got there, his playmaking went above the charts, man. But we are up 3-1. Hopefully we go on and face the Celtics. Luckily the Sixers somehow didn't make the playoffs, but Drummond had 31 and 10, Siakam had 29 5, Drozen 18 2 and 5, Mitchell Robinson 14 and 8, and there's the rest. Not too shabby, but can we get past the Celtics? They did win eight more games than us. We do take game one and two. Come on, man. We were just up two games. Come on, we cannot be choking. DeRozan went 4 for 4 from the three point line. Come on, man. We can't choke. We cannot choke. Simulate the rest. No, man. We got to go to Simcast, man. Um, For the matchups, I want... Uh, I get... I don't know, man. I don't see them how they are, man. We'll just have it on auto. Because I really don't want to mess with these. So just simulate with Simcast, man. Oh, please let us get past them, man. Simulate game. It is a back and forth first quarter, second... Oh, we are... Oh... They came back and tied it, man. Mm. This isn't looking too good, man. This is not looking too good, man. We kind of got a little room right here, but I don't know, my God. There, it's only a one. No, no. Are you serious? Are you serious, man? Are you serious? Come on. No, no. Wow. I'm going to jump in the game and I'll see y'all when I'm in the game. Right here in the game and I am going to move in the game to Hall of Fame. Just so y'all can see. It's usually on Pro, but I did move it to Hall of Fame right here. And I do want to give the ball to DeRozan. This is like a DeRozan moment here. We got 12 seconds. Can I get past Jalen Brown? I can't even get past Jalen Brown. They got a jump ball. I just cost us the game, man. I really just cost us the game. I should have done a pick and roll or something. Wow. Come on, man. You can't, you can't do this. Oh my God, we got a foul on. <sighs> That's why I don't like Hall of Fame, man. Hall of Fame is too cheesy. When you play in a Hall of Fame, you can't do anything. Everyone's like 99 to everything. We have no timeouts. This sucks. Um, I guess we gotta go to Fred. They already passed it in. I didn't even want to pass it in already. Give it. No, please. Yeah, we lost. So that is the end of the video, man. We did end up losing, and I just suck at 2K, I guess. I mean, Hall of Fame is pretty hard, man. You can't really get past anyone, as I don't know why it's not simulating the playoffs, but you can't get past a person that's like they got nine under everything, but the Celtics do go on win the championship, so we did lose to the defending champs. Jason Tatum, Major Finals MVP. That is in the video, guys. I'm out, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.